Here we go! Hey, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Let's Play Mario Kart DS. Today, I'm going to be taking on the flower cup of this game. But before we get started, do me a favor and hit the like button for me. It really helps support the series. You guys have no idea. So thank you. As you can tell by the lovely title screen, I have not yet beaten the game. Even though I said in the previous episode I would beat the game in the following episode, which is today. This episode right here that you're watching. But uh, it's not that I didn't try. Um, I actually spent a good majority of my night last night playing through this game. And I managed to complete the 56. CC's mode, 100 CC, about half of the 100 CC's mode, and I haven't really played anything of the 150 CC's mode. Uh, I wasn't aware that in order to unlock all of the characters in this game, you actually had to beat 50 CC's, 100 CC's, and 150 CC's, and obtain a golden trophy in every cup. Uh, it's not like Mario Kart 7 where you just beat 150 CC's, and after I think every cup you unlock it specific character um no this game you actually have to be every cc's which is kind of redundant going through and playing the full game uh, i guess in one day playing all the cups over and over and over again it just i couldn't do it so i played like three hours of this game last night and as you can see right here um i actually did i got three star rankings in all of the cups here i think after beating the nitro grand prix i unlocked dry bones and then after the retro, I unlocked Daisy, and then the credits played. Um, but yeah, I unlocked Daisy and Dry Bones, and then I went through the 100 CCs. I was feeling really good. I'm like, yeah, I got three stars on all these cups. And I was doing pretty well, I guess, in the first two cups. And then I just tanked, and then I quit right here. And I'm like, let's do the retro. I was doing all right, and then I started slowly tanking, and then I gave up on the Leaf Cup. I tried doing the Leaf Cup, but I was doing terrible, so I was like, whatever. And then I called it quits for the night. But I'm going to attempt to beat the rest of the game tonight. Hopefully, I'll be able to do it. I mean, it's not that long or hard, and now that I'm used to playing this game, and I'm much better at it than I was yesterday morning when I opened the game, um, hopefully I'll be able to do it. So today we're going to be doing the Flower Cup. Today's cart combination was suggested to us by Leo Boyer. He suggested we should play as Yoshi in the Yoshi Egg. If we have everything unlocked, then we play as Dry Bones in the DB. I think this is the DB car. I don't know if there's a car called DB, but I think he's talking about this one. So, unfortunately, man, we don't have everything unlocked. But thank you for the suggestion. I will be playing as Yoshi in the Yoshi Egg. Um, Dry Bones is, like, the best character to do snaking with. Um, wait, I got a B. Oh, so Dry Bones is the best character to do snaking with in this game. Uh, I'm going to save him for, like, a hard cup. Maybe, like, one of the later cups. But, uh... For now, I will be playing as Yoshi with the Flower Cup. The, the, tro the I was going to say the tracks, but then I wanted to say the courses. The track courses here are uh, Desert Hills, Dalfino Square, Waluigi Pinball, and Shroom Ridge. Fun fact, I actually attempted to record this last night, but the thing was, like, I think I was doing really well, and I'm pretty sure I could have gotten at least a two-star ranking. Um, but, like, my recording software just crashed on me, and it stopped recording midway through Delfino Square. But I wasn't aware of it until, like, at the end of the, the, the cup. I was like, oh, it stopped recording, and I was, like, upset. So I just called it quits. But, um, the thing about this in particular game is, uh... You have to snake in order to get good rankings. Like, if you want to get a three-star ranking, you have to get really, really good times in the courses. And the only way you can get really good times is by snaking. And the thing is, like, when you go from playing 50 cc's to 100 cc's uh, to 150 cc's, you'll notice a huge difference in the computer change. Like, the computers will actually become really, really, really good at the game. Um, when you play 50 cc's, they don't do any kind of drifting at all but then when you go from 50 cc's to 100 cc's you'll notice that they're all starting to drift and some of them even start snaking and if you're like a master snaker you'll notice that even when you snake it's not really putting enough space between you and the computers so uh, i guess my only advice here is just to try to stay ahead of your opponents when you do snake i i noticed this yesterday when you start snaking the best way to optimize the full speed of snaking is by like watch i will show you once we come to like a corner this is the best way to do it and it works really really well for me all right you can take that boo so when you snake make sure you do the like once you let go of the boost while you're still boosting from that make try to get the second thing in because it'll go from blue to orange boost in a matter of seconds but then when you let the boost finish and then you go to snake again it'll take from one second to like 
three seconds. So the best way to optimize it is to keep doing snaking, try to snake as much as possible, which is why I guess they call it snaking, because you're getting them one after the other, you just keep going back and forth, back and forth. Uh, but yeah, the second track in this uh, cup is Dalfino Square. This cup is, uh, I, I actually really like this cup. This course is a really, really fun track. They ported it to the Wii, like they recreated it for the, they didn't recreate it, but they just brought it onto the Wii as a retro uh, course. And for the longest time ever, I sat there thinking that this was a course originally for the Wii. Because like, when you play it for the Wii, it's like really nice and the track is just beautifully done and... Are you kidding, Daisy? She, she had to poop bananas right there. That is, that is not nice, girl. Alright, I guess, I guess I need to figure out a way to pass these guys, because if I can't pass them, then I'm going to start getting trolled by their items. Oh, look, he just pushed Toad off. What a troll. He did that to me before in one of his cups. I think it was his level two. He literally pushed me off the track, and it pissed me off so much. Because if you fall off a track, it doesn't matter if it's the computer's fault or an item's fault uh, or your fault. It doesn't matter. You will honestly get... You'll, you'll immediately get bumped on from a three-star ranking to two. So you can't fall. Look at her. She had bananas. Imagine following her in this little tight area with bananas on her tail. That would have sucked because I probably would have slipped on it. Wow, she's like the only computer I've ever seen go through that way. Alright. Ah. Uh. Alright. Ah, come on! Whoa! Whoa, 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 girl. Alright, this is it. I'm gonna... I'm gonna build the lead in front of us right now. This is how it's gonna work. I'm gonna start snaking right here. Alright, that was terrible. Alright. Got a nice, decent lead ahead of her. That's what I needed. Uh, in some of the tracks, you can actually lap some of the people. people um, especially in 50ccs, there wasn't a track where I didn't lap a computer or almost lap a computer because they don't turbo boost. And 50ccs mode goes really, really slow, so you're able to get more turbo boosts in than you would in like 150ccs. Like here, because like I'd be driving much slower, I'd be able to get like three or four boosts rather than just two. Let's see my scores. 42, 42, and 39. That's actually really good. You start off really slow usually, but then as you progress further down into the road or to the level, you actually start building more speed and the laps per time, times per lap is usually a lot lower than it was when you first started. But yeah, Waluigi Pinball, my favorite track in this cup. It's actually one of my favorite tracks in this game. Uh, it's one of my favorite tracks in Mario Kart 7. I absolutely adore this track. And um, I think we could do pretty well on this. I really, I'm actually going to start this. Oh, come on, how did I burn out? Okay, that is terrible. I can't burn out. Like, when you burn out, you'll honestly screw yourself up really bad. So, that was a terrible start, I guess, of a track. I don't know how that happens, too. Like, I'm doing it right, but... Good item? Yes! Star. I'm gonna save my star. I'm gonna see how many people I can pass organically, and then... I'm gonna use my star just to get the nice boost at the end. As long as you at least get two out of the three laps in first, I think you'll be golden, and that's what will help you get the three-star ranking. Um, but if you get, like, one of the laps first place, and then the other two you get, like, second or third, or you're just behind, it will really screw up your ranking. So you need to try your best to... Can I hit her? Yes! There's one person down. I always think it's gonna glitch because usually when I play online and I try to hit other people with stars, it doesn't usually hit them because they're not actually there. But because my internet, or just internet in general, is just bad on Nintendo Wi-Fi, it's, uh, it's just, uh, it kind of shows them in places that they're not usually at. Alright, is this first? First place with a shroom. Oh, no, no. Luigi takes that back. Come back here. If I can get a draft off of him, that'd be really good. Oh, come on! How, how did she get up there? Are you kidding me? But I also noticed that's really, really... Oh, come on! Did she get... She got hit. She got hit by a blue shell. Holy crap. Oh my goodness. That was like save right there. Holy crap. 
but what I noticed is if you actually manage to get a decent chunk of space between you and your computers uh, in like 150 cc's the game will start trolling you by sending out blue shells every like minute not even like every 20 30 seconds and they'll start like trolling you by trying to slow you down so we'll get hit by lots of red shells they will give you crappy items and blue shells will happen a lot I guess because it's a way for them to tell you slow down these computers need to catch up but then it's like no they can't catch up because mustard oh Jesus come on come on why 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 get holy crap <gasps> what the sh oh my gosh how holy cr how did that happen how did i avoid that shell oh my god i've never avoided a blue shell in this game holy wow i'm speechless right now that is like the dumbest thing I've ever seen. How did that blue shell not hit me? Like, I'm not complaining, but that is weird. I've never avoided a blue shell in this game. That is, that is cool. That is, I like, there wasn't even a boost there either. Like, how did that happen? I remember, I remember people always talking about how blue shells were so avoidable in this game. So I guess, I guess maybe I f figured out the, I didn't, I don't, honestly don't, it was all luck right there. I don't know how I did that. But there, there definitely is a tactic behind it. I'll have to replay it in slow motion just to see exactly what happened. Can you stop bumping me, Daisy? She's getting nice drafts off of me. But as you can see... Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Can I... I did not get that draft off of her. How does she do it? Like, jeez, what is this girl doing? Alright. Ah, oh, come on. Okay, once I... There you go. Okay, watch this, guys. Alright. When you play this course in 50cc's mode, you can honestly get so many turbo boosts to the point where you'll literally lap at least half of the players in this course, which is nice. Um, and plus, the good thing about this course is that most of it is, like, turning. It's like, oh, come on! It's like curves and roads that turn between left and right. And that's usually the best way to get snaking boosts. So, if you're ever in a track like this, you really don't have an excuse to not do well with the snaking. But, like, if I were to play this course yesterday, or this cup yesterday in 150cc's mode, I would have done terrible. Oh, come on. Okay, so I think the way you can actually do it is if you hold the turbo boost, let the boost shell almost hit you, but before it hits you, you let go. Because it kind of works like a mushroom. Oh, jeez. There you go. Got a couple snaking there. Oh, Daisy's not that far behind. I want to build a nice chunk of space between us. But usually in 150cc's mode, you can't do that. You can't build that decent space that you really want to. Because they have to make the computer somewhat difficult. Can't make them just really easy. And there you go. 45 seconds. So 43, 43, and 45. The only reason I got 45 was because of the blue shell and I got hit by a shell. So two things to slow me down. But I would have done really good this lap because on that one road I actually managed to snake a couple of times, which is nice. Damn. All right, this better be three stars. I better get three stars or I will be upset. But I'm going to try my best. Like after I master this game, I'm going to go back to play Mario Kart 7 and then I'm going to try to figure out how to snake in that game because I think it's possible. There should be a way. The game mechanics aren't that different between this and Mario Kart 7. Two stars? What the heck? Okay, so even after all of this, I only get two stars. It was definitely Dalfino Square that screwed me up. Because, like, two of the laps I was doing terrible on, but the last lap I managed to pick up some speed. But at least I got two stars. So, hopefully with more practice, I'll be able to, to get more um, stars, I guess. 
Anyways, that will conclude today's episode. I will try my best to unlock the remainder of the characters in this game tonight. So be sure to leave your suggestions on who you'd like me to play as in the next cup. So thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in the next episode of Mario Kart DS. Goodbye.